What's up guys? <clears throat> so, um, I've been messing with my PCP rifle, um, AKA the uh, Benjamin uh, Armada 22 caliber. Um, and let's see, you probably set it wrong way, that way. There it is, this rifle right here. Um, so, <laughs> let me get this back turned around. So anyway, when I first bought this rifle, I got a hand pump with it. It's a Benjamin hand pump. And if, I don't know, it, it wasn't that bad at first, but when I pull this thing out to shoot it, like I shoot it a lot. So, you know, pumping 300 and something time, 300 plus times to get it to 3000 PSI, it kind of began to be a pain in the, in the butt. And um, I just didn't like it. I, I dealt with it at first. I was like, you know what? I, I'm on a budget, just plinking, not a big deal. I'll just deal with the pump. No, I don't like the hand pump. It's just not good. So you're probably here. You probably clicked on this video because you're in the same place. So what I found, um, I found this pump that has quite a few reviews on Facebook. I'm sorry, on YouTube. Um, it's called the Spry Tech. I think link in the description. Look, in, look at what I sent. I, I think it's called Spyrotech or Sprytech. Um, it is a 4,500 PSI or 300 bar. Um, it works off 12 volt or uh, 120 or 110, whatever. You plug it into a wall or you can hook it to the battery on your car to run it, which was a cool thing for me. So if I, if I go to the range, if nothing else, I can have it hooked up in my Jeep and I can walk out of the range if I need to and pump back up. Or if I get off in the wilderness somewhere, you know, get off camping, remote camping, and I want to plink with it, uh, I can do that. So that's kind of the idea. Um, it's supposed to have an auto shut off. It's not checked on the box, but that's what I clicked on to, to buy. So I'm hoping it's the auto shut off model. Um, so I've been told not to use it to 4,500 PSI. I was told not to go over like 38, I think is what someone told me. Um, there there have been people with issues with these things. So I'm gonna do a review today and like other things that I've done in about a year when I, I kind of get this itch again and I'm messing with it, I'll do a follow-up review on it. So this is 2021. So 2022, um, look for a follow-up around this time of year. So let me show you what's in the box. <laughs> All right, so comes in a box like this, almost, uh, almost crated. Ah, sorry, almost crated. It's kind of weird. So take the lid off. Uh, looks like your air hose uh, and 12 volt cables and your wall cable is all in this package. Um, instruction manual. Uh, scan the QR code, give us a review, blah, blah, blah. Those things hardly ever work. Um, I got the blue one. If you, uh, if you've shopped around for these, you'll see there's a blue one and an orange one. Tell you what, hold on a second. All right, here we are. Looks like it's got a fan on the back. Come around to the side. It's your bleeder valve. Um, your hose connection, got the quick connect on it. On this end here, looks like you got, uh, I forgot what that connection's called. It's on my RC stuff. Um, but I'm assuming that's your 12 volt direct connect. Um, standard wall outlet plug. So that's called an uh, IEC or e EAC, I forgot. It's, uh, it's on my guitar amps and stuff. And then I'm assuming is a fuse. Yeah, some sort of fuse there. You got a, uh, a cap over the fuse. It's on that side, uh, nothing really come to the top so I've watched the videos on these you have to turn on the fan and then turn the compressor on and then when you're done pumping leave the fan on to let it cool there's a temperature gauge to let you know when you're overheating um, 6,000 psi gauge looks like 
And if this is the uh, automatic shutoff, then this is how you set it. You set it to what you want your limit to be. Um, just got a little rubber cap over it like everything else. Seems pretty sturdy. Let me hook it up. All right, so I had to turn it off. This fan is loud. This is not a quiet unit at all. Um, I got it set to 3000. So it says to turn on the fan. Turn that on, let me get going. Got it connected to my rifle. I'll hit the compressor. auto shut off model. Bleed off the hose. Pretty good bit of moisture in there. So I would presume I'm gonna have to change out these filters. I'm gonna leave the fan running for a while. Let's check the gun. Oh yeah, gun is up there. Perfect. I kill it. All right, final thoughts. Um, so all in all, uh, it meets my needs. It at least worked this one time. Um, if it can work about a hundred times, it's worth every penny. Um, We'll see, we'll give it a year and see if it lasts through uh, light to moderate use. It's not gonna be heavy for me. Um, I am thinking about, this is probably what'll kill it. This is what I'm thinking. Um, I was thinking about buying a bottle also and then using this to fill the bottle and then using the to up to like 4,500 and then using the bottle when I go places, you know, that way I can have some versatility. Um, but if this was all I had, it would be great. So Spry Tech, uh, 4,500 PSI. Uh, I am looking at getting, I got two things in mind soon is the uh, Umar X hammer, I think 50 caliber. And then there was another one. I thought it was called like the Umar X or a uh, hot sign blitz. It's a full auto 30 caliber. Um, but I think those go above 3000. So that's what's going to put it that's definitely going to be the danger zone for this. So thanks for watching. Um, if you got any questions, put them down below. I'm probably going to fire this out and then uh, pump it back up and uh, put this thing on the shelf until another day, probably in a few days, I'll do it again. Um, so hit me up if you got any questions and I'll do my best to answer them all. Peace out guys.